Hello. I'm Mrs. Ada Quonset. I'm Mrs. Livingston. Please, too. I, I mean, won't you sit down? Oh, thank you, my dear. It was a long walk from that gate. Mm. Uh, we've got a little talking to do. I think you better lock that door. Well, I see you've done this sort of thing before. Oh, yes, my dear. But it's against the law. Why do you do it? Well, you see, I'm a widow, and I have a married daughter in New York. Sometimes I get lonely for him, for the grandchildren. So I go down to the airport in Los Angeles, and I get on a plane that's going to New York. And then when I'm ready to go home, it's, well, vice versa. Just like that, without a ticket? Oh, my dear, I couldn't possibly afford a ticket. I just have my social security and this small pension that my late husband left me. Have you ever been a stowaway on any other airline? Oh, yes. But I like Transglobal the best. Well, it's nice to meet a satisfied customer. How about Petroni? Highway Patrol is bringing him in. How long before I'll be here? About half an hour. Good. Now I'll have that sandwich. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since about... Oh, I, I'm sorry. I... No, no, don't go away. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Quonset, the stowaway I was talking about before. This is Mr. Bakersfeld, general manager of the airport. Well, how do you do? It's a pleasure to meet someone so important. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. Uh, don't go. Come, sit with us. Have a cup of coffee and, and a sandwich. Perhaps Mr. Bakersfeld could impress upon Mrs. Quonset that this isn't a very nice thing to do. Mrs. Livingston hasn't been able to. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mrs. Quonset. Uh, what you've done is, uh, is dishonest. You've broken the law. You've defrauded Transglobal. Why don't you realize they can prosecute you? But they wouldn't, would they? I don't think it'd be very good public relations for a big airline to prosecute a little old lady just because she wanted to visit her daughter. May I have one? Well, sure. I didn't eat much on the plane. The beef was a little too well done. And the salad dressing had garlic in it. I think you should tell them, my dear, that very often elderly people can't tolerate garlic. It gives them gas. Well, I'll certainly mention it to our chef. Thank you. Not at all. Now look, Mrs. Quonset, since you've had so much free travel from Transglobal, the least you could do is tell us how you get aboard our flights. Well, my dear, I use many methods. But mostly I like to be in the airport early enough to get me a boarding pass. But our boarding passes are ticket folders. Yes, I know. I go to a counter and I tell them I've lost mine. And may I please have another one? I always pick a counter where the clerks are busy and lots of people are waiting. They always give me one. But it's just a blank folder. It isn't made out as a gate pass. I do that myself in the ladies' room. I know from experience just what to write. And I carry one of these big black pencils like the airlines use in my purse. See? Yes, I do. I'll keep that if you don't mind. Well, it's really mine. But if you want it, I suppose I can get another one. So now you have a boarding pass, Mrs. Quartz. What then? Well, then I go to the departure gate. Coffee? No, thank you. And I wait till the young man checking tickets there is busy, and then I walk past him and onto the plane. You hear that, Mr. Coakley? And no one stops you, not even the stewardesses? If you get on late enough, they're hanging up coats, you know, talking to the men. I, I, I just show them my folder quickly, you see. I'll keep that, too. But I'm sure you don't always use a boarding pass. No. Sometimes I tell them that my son is going aboard, but he dropped his wallet. I carry a man's wallet in my hand. That works best of all. I must say, Mrs. Quonset, you have everything figured out very carefully. My late husband taught me to be thorough. He was a teacher of geometry. He always said, you must consider every angle. My late husband was a lawyer, and he always said, uh, watch out for sweet-looking, innocent little old ladies. I'm beginning to understand what he meant. <laughs>